On April the 26th, 1986, Reactor 4 of the Chernobyl power plant exploded after system tests went horribly wrong. Dangerous levels of radioactive particles scattered across Europe, scarring the lives of tens of thousands, even to this day. A monument stands in front of the reactor to commemorate the victims of the catastrophe and those who died while attempting to contain the disaster a quarter of a century ago. There are tens of thousands of people whose daily life continues to be affected due to the radioactivity accumulated in the soil. Residents of remote villages in the contaminated areas are most vulnerable. Poverty gives them no choice but to live off their land to make ends meet. A bustling market in the northwestern town of Rokitne hosts shop fronts to such farmers. In wintertime, they sell locally grown dried mushrooms, pickled vegetables and dairy products. Food grown in the area is often tested for radioactivity. Even to this day, Radiation far exceeding acceptable levels is found in dairy products and on wild berries and mushrooms. For most villages in isolated areas, food safety is a concern. The arrival of the Greenpeace radiation safety experts has prompted many to have their food tested. High levels of radioactive cesium-137 were detected in many samples. The biggest concern here is the milk products and we found the levels are exceeding limits uh, allowed for these milk products. Specifically, uh, it's a big concern for the children because they already have in this location known uh, deformities, birth deformities, and also big uh, difficulties with the immune system. A result from one of the milk samples has alerted the team to examine a small farm in the village. The team recorded high levels of radioactivity in some locally gathered hay. As in most poor villages, Nadia's family has been taking milk from their cattle for decades. Mene tretja kategorija Chernobylsko zatvorenje. Mene jedna nirka, a jedna i ta poliki stozna. Постоянно жаліються діти постійно на голову, що голові в їх болять. Без тонію вже зараз по дорослішали жени не їздила обстежувати, а в школу ходили, то возила в Чорнобузьку лікарню. Постійно дистонію там ставили, ото якісь що зужені сосуди чи що. Ну таке, я знаю, є проблеми. Є проблеми лиш. The head nurse, Tamara Ogievich, runs the only clinic in the village. She says children are caught between a rock and a hard place. А всіх діток, як перевіряють школу, так? То немає ні одної дитинки здорової. Кожної дитини зоб. Це вже тонзеліти, зоби, це говорить про те, що наслідки Чорнобильської катастрофи. І нічого тут не покращилося. Це просто ма. Якщо наші діти не будуть пити молока, то це що, рахіт, гіпотрофія. Ці дітки будуть ще більш ослаблені. І ще буде більша біда. Patients visiting district hospitals in the contaminated areas are examined on chairs like this for radioactivity. Those found with alarming levels of radioactivity are sent to specialized hospitals in provincial centers or Kiev, the nation's capital. From a young age, many are destined for lives with long periods spent in hospitals. Experts say the health of some children in the contaminated areas could only improve if they have access to cleaner food. То сейчас ведь главная проблема на загрязнённых территориях связана с внутренним облучением, с поступлением радионуклидов, прежде всего цезия, в организм. Если бы дети, проживающие на загрязнённых территориях, могли быть обеспечены полностью продуктами чистыми, продуктами питания, то, конечно, Проблемы со здоровьем значительно бы снялись, связанные вот именно с поступлением радионуклидов в организм. Greenpeace has revisited the contaminated zones to study the effects of radioactivity still present in the food chain. They say the problems, still seen today, should act as a warning to others who are considering nuclear energy when renewable energy represents a safe and secure alternative. 
hundreds of kilometers away from Chernobyl, people are still exposed to significant levels of radiation through their food chain. They have to live with the consequences for years to come. Chernobyl disaster is a stark reminder for all of us to face out nuclear energy and invest in clean, renewable technologies now. For students at a school 120 kilometers west of Chernobyl, the story of the disaster is passed down by their families and teachers. Learning about how to deal with contaminated food is mandatory here. Чому ми, чому наша країна таке з нами сталося і чому ми повинні страждати? Ну все ж таки боязнь і страх від цього є, від цього вічаю. Many people are fortunate to be able to choose the food they eat. But villages in poorer areas are left without such a choice. Today's desperate financial situation makes it even worse for them. And though a quarter of a century has passed, the fallout from the Chernobyl disaster still blights the lives of tens of thousands in the contaminated areas.